Hello and welcome to an AP Physics momentum and scattering problem. This problem, I'm going to do number 11 from the problem set, so please follow along and take work down as you go. Pause as you need to catch up with, you, with the work. The problem reads, an 8 gram bullet is fired into a 50, 250 gram block that is initially at rest on the edge of the table of a height 1 meter. The bullet embeds itself into the block and after the impact lands 2 meters away from the bottom of the table. We're asked to find the initial speed of the bullet. So in this problem, what we're going to do is we're going to start with a basic uh, conservation momentum equation, simply that p initial equals p final. And, now, and then we're going to analyze the momentum before and after the collision to see if we can learn something. Well, since the, block, since the block's at rest at the beginning, we can express the momentum before the collision, collision as the mass of the bullet, which I'll denote with a little pentagon to kind of denote the bullet, times the velocity of the bullet, which is what we're trying to find plus zero, because the block's at rest, equals, since the block and the bullet stick together, I'm going to add the masses together, so the mass of the bullet plus the mass of the block, so mb, times the velocity of the bullet plus the block. So, because they're going to travel off together with the same speed, because they're going to be stuck together. So, we're asked to find the, the velocity of the bullet, we already know the mass of the bullet and the mass of the block, therefore we need to find the velocity of the bullet and block after the collision. Well, we're given that the bullet falls a distance of one meter and it goes out horizontally. Therefore, we can do our old projectile motion stuff and we can do a d equals one half gt squared to solve for the time it takes to go from the bullet to go down to the ground. We need this time so we can find the velocity of the bullet block system. So going through with a d of 1 meter equals 1 half gt squared, we can go ahead and solve for t, and we find a t of 0.45 seconds. Great. Well, now we know also that the horizontal distance the, the bullet block system travels is 2 meters. Therefore, we can use that time plus the distance to find the velocity of the bullet block system. So the velocity of the bullet plus the block equals the distance it travels divided by the time. So that's 2 meters divided by 0.45 seconds. And we find the velocity of the bullet block system to be about 4.43 meters per second. So, using that information, we can now find the momentum of the bullet block system after the collision. So, again, we know that P before equals P after. So, momentum before equals the momentum after. Momentum before, again, is the mass of the bullet times the velocity of the bullet. And that equals mass of the bullet plus the mass of the block. I'll just use a square now, <laughs> make life easy, times the velocity of the bullet plus the block. So, solving for the velocity of the bullet, we get the velocity of the bullet equals mass of the bullet plus the mass of the block times the velocity of the system after the collision divided by the mass of the bullet. Now, the mass of the bullet was given to us as 8 grams, so that's 0 0.008 kilograms plus the mass of the block, which is 250 grams, so that's 0 0.250 kilograms. The velocity of the bullet plus the block was 4.43 meters per second, and the mass of the bullet was 0 0.008 kilograms again. Going through and solving for all of that, we get the velocity of the bullet before the collision is about 142.86, which when we round to significant figures comes out to be 143 meters per second. And there we have it. The mass of the bullet before the uh, the velocity of the bullet before the collision. All right. Hope this helps. Stay tuned for more.